Up hey, what's going on guys? It's me, I'm Engine Plays YT here, back with another video. I haven't done a video in ages with my voice, but um today I'll be showing you how to lock the squirrels. Now I've done this before and um and that video was wrong. I accidentally did something wrong, so I'll be doing a remake, so let's just create a new server. I just use um, my video server and delete this so it doesn't really matter the spelling and stuff. So, <laughs> this is the server. I'm not going to invite anybody. Oops. Wait, is already working? Hello? Does it interesting? Okay, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was just testing the audio because it was the audio thing was on here on this call. So, basically, this is what you have to do. So, First of all, I'll just leave this roll because I'm not going to do anything of it. So, you can make any roll, so just make your rolls. So, do this quickly because last time my, so my viewers complaining because it was way too long. And I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, so, this is what you have to do. So, first of all, So you have your rolls, so you need two more, sorry guys, just be a minute, so you have to name these name, um, code, you have to name some of these because, um, I'll just name this code because I'm going to color because I don't know, let's get mixed up with these, so I'll just give these colors, sorry guys, I'll just do this quickly, um, because I need to separate them, so basically, I have my rolls, and... Um, okay, so I have my rolls, and basically, how do you lock them? So first of all, at every one, doesn't really matter. It's, it's nothing's gonna do happen if you have that. If you have none, so what you need to do is you have your highest roll. So I did op. Um, let me set. I have op. Um, I'll make two op rolls. Um, co op, I guess. I don't know. Um, and basically, so I have my highest rolls. Now, the highest roll should be owner like. So, if you're gonna make an owner role, or maybe you have like a night server, I don't know. People actually have like night servers and stuff. So, basically. Op will have every single roll. Now, if you do not want, I mean, usually owner is the highest roll. So, but if you have a night server, basically, if you don't want the highest roll to have all the rolls, then you can put manage rolls off. So it's already off by default. And many people enable manage rolls, but this is really bad. So, for me in this occasion, op will have access to everything, so as all of these so priority, oh no, priority so you go I set the random anyway, I'm going to delete this server after you know, so yeah, we'll have everything basically now you want people to add roles, that's the thing we, I know you want people to add roles um, you, you want people to add roles but you don't want them to like delete them and you want them locked or something so you want them to have some roles not not be able to have access and have them have access to some roles now <laughs> this is a bit hard but um basically if you don't want people to have access to roles like add roles then you turn this off manage roles and if you want them to add roles well you just have to put the role that you want people to be able to add roles with so for example maybe official member you want people to have like access to like um having like pro membership or something so coke for, for example is the pro membership and the code is like i don't know you know you know um well, code is basically um all star, all star role, I guess you can say. So you want them to have access to these roles, but you. So 
yeah, you want them locked some rolls. So these are the ones that you want locked. These are like really high rolls, high rolls. But you don't want them to delete the roles because you give the name role permission to add roles. They can delete these roles too. That's the thing. Manage roles, they can delete roles. So you don't want that to happen, do you? Excuse me, sorry. So basically, what you have to do is you need a bot. Now, I, I'm, I can't add bots to this server right now. So I'll just go through my six bits for you. It's my other server. <coughs> and basically, uh, the bot, you have to like give it access to it, adding roles. So, um, so these are the roles. Now you want, so you want the bot to be able to give roles. So I want me six to give like one role. No, give like official member role for example your occasion or something official member role um ignore all these roles just official member role and maybe like um official song creator role but you want these locked too so how do you lock the roles so first of all the locked roles will so code cannot have access to any of these roles. These are locked for code, for example. Coke, you can have access to code, but they, he, Coke can't have access to name, this weird one, co-op and op. Name can have access to these two, and vice, so on, yeah. So this can have access to these three, and op can have access to everything. Now, that's how you lock the roles. Yeah, it's quite simple. But, 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 but. You don't want people to have access to managing roles because they can delete roles. You don't want that to happen. So, you basically, I have me six. I'm not really good with bots, but I have me six and I have added some stuff to give roles. Now, what are the roles? So, me six can. One role. That one's in progress, but that's one of them. And then. Slash staff team role gives us staff a staff team role if they don't already have it. So <coughs> yeah, those are the ones that can give roles. So you don't have any members deleting your roles and stuff. Um. So yeah, you have to like verify your account, or you can ask one of your staff to add a bot if they're verified. Yeah, or just ask a member to do that. Just give them a permission for a few minutes to add bots and then done. You can de-op them and stuff and thank them or something. And they can add the bot and then you just have to do the commands. And <coughs> basically that's how you lock the roles. So you really just basically have to get a bot and just undo manage roles. Except for the staff. They have to like have access to managing roles that they can add roles and stuff. So don't forget that. Um, and that's basically it. I'm sorry if this didn't make sense. Or oh, I might make another remake because this might not have made sense. But basically, code doesn't have access to these roles because they're locked to him. And and uh, wait, this is missing. So I need to invite my old. Just quickly did so. My people are my alt. <coughs> so Safari. What? What the heck? No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. So open. So I'm gonna give my alt. Code roll, I think it is. Um, yes, yeah, code roll. So, so this is basically what will happen. So, so it's gonna move this. Okay. There. 
Okay, um, and basically give my alt code roll, and then you'll understand. So I'll just make you map access to roles. So yeah, I can show you my roles. So. <laughs> So he has access to managing roles. Now this is what happens. <laughs> Sorry if this video is really long. See, so he doesn't have access to any of these roles. He has access to code role, but he can't delete it. But once I give him access to coke role, so I remove code role and I give him access to coke role. Now he will have access to code role, which this is what happens. So I'm going to give him manager roles. Now basically, my alt can go here, and he can mess around with code. See, he can like he can't give them an administrator though. He can mess around. So you can give them code role like the permission that code role has. Excuse me, sorry. And yeah, so this is why you need to like have a role that no a command that gives roles, but it has you can. With bots, you can set what, who has permission to use the roles. So, like for example, in my my actual server, <coughs> I have um, official sun creator, and I have. Uh, let me just see. Uh, oh, staff team role. That's what it is. Um, and basically, you can give people access to these commands. So. Um, and yeah, I have stuff in here. So um, I'll just go to my my dashboard is better in here actually. So um, I forgot to do this. Wait one sec. Sorry guys. Um, my staff well, member was breaking rules before, so I had to just do something. So um, I'll just leave this open. Um, so I'll go in here and um, I'll show you. So, sorry guys, the dashboard is loads a bit slow, so I have to do the link, which is just not that fast. It's it's not too far. It'll just take a few minutes, seconds. So, where's the dashboard? The dashboard's there. So, <coughs> also props to my staff member, Only Chicken. Um, uh, he added the bot to my server. So, um, oops, well, oh, okay. Um, so the command, so I have staff team role. So only start, oh, what? Oh, no, yeah. So these are the people, loud roles. I gave people the, the staff I have, so moderators, helpers, owners, trust, admins, stuff. I gave them access to adding that role. So, yeah. That's basically how you. Lock rolls. It might have been a bit complicated, but basically, do not give anyone except staff access to managing roles because this is really bad. And yeah, you basically need a bot. Give everyone except staff um, non managed roles. So only give staff managed roles. Unless you don't want staff to have managed roles, then you can do that. You know, it's your server, so, <laughs> yeah. But basically, you need a bot that can give roles to certain people that, yeah. And, yeah, I know you have to, like, like make sure you have proof. <laughs> Some people, like, have YouTuber role on their server. But, you know, you do not want people to have YouTuber role unless they verified it. So, you can put YouTuber over... Yeah, you basically have to do some of manually, but yeah, YouTuber roles, most servers do it manually anyway, for YouTuber roles. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry if this was long, I'll make a remake if you're not happy with this, anyway, peace.